Ecclesiastes 3 verse 11 says, He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the hearts of men, yet they cannot fathom the work that God has done from beginning to end. God has instilled a sense of eternity within us, a void that only He can fulfill. His wisdom is evident in the creation of the space within our hearts, a space meant solely for Him. This is a mysterious longing which nothing under the sun can satisfy except God. Yet many people, unaware of this divine truth, attempt to fill this emptiness with material possessions and worldly pursuits. Despite their efforts, they often find themselves grappling with feelings of emptiness and loneliness. The eternal cannot be satisfied by the fleeting nature of worldly things. This void is divinely designed and nothing other than the presence of God can truly satisfy it. Whether it's people, wealth, or fame, anything other than God's presence will fall short. Just as we are created with a specific purpose, and if we are utilized differently, we will inevitably feel out of place. Similarly, just as a puzzle piece is designed to fit perfectly into its corresponding space, our hearts have been divinely designed to be filled with the presence of God. Worldly things, no matter how appealing or satisfying they may seem, are like puzzle pieces from a different set. They may appear to fit for a while, but ultimately they will not align perfectly with the divine design. The temporal nature of worldly things is incompatible with the eternal nature of the divine. Therefore, they will always fall short of filling the void that is meant for God alone. Consider this. Our hearts are designed to be filled by the divine, by a God who is all-powerful, all-knowing, and for whom nothing is impossible. If we allow God to occupy the space in our hearts, we can achieve remarkable things through His power. God desires to fill us because, first, we need His help. Life presents us with numerous challenges, some of which are beyond our understanding and too heavy for us to bear alone. At times, we may lose hope and faith, questioning our purpose when we rely solely on our own abilities or strength. In Luke 1 verse 37 says, For nothing will be impossible with God. This verse is a powerful reminder of God's omnipotence and the limitless possibilities when we put our trust in Him. Trust God for everything, no matter how heavy the challenge is, or maybe it's beyond your understanding, only God can help you. Second, nothing is permanent in this world. People may abandon us, wealth may disappear, fame may fade, and all that is temporary may vanish. But God's promise remains, He will never leave nor forsake us. Third, we are God's sons and daughters. When we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we become God's children. John 1 verse 12 says, Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. As children of God, we are no longer living for ourselves. According to Galatians 2 verse 20, which says, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. As his children, he wants us to be transformed from glory to glory. God resides within us. He is always with us, and if we allow him to fill the void in our hearts, we will experience joy, peace, the assurance of protection and transformation. Fourth, God wants the best for us, and he wants to speak to us. Many people wonder why God would want to communicate with us. They think that God is too distant, too busy, or too mysterious to care about our lives. But the truth is that God loves us more than we can imagine. He created us for a purpose, and He wants to guide us, comfort us, and bless us. God knows everything. He sees what is coming, for that we should always listen to His instructions for guidance. God communicates with us in various ways. During our quiet time, His voice can be discerned as a gentle whisper. His words are also revealed to us through the scriptures in the Bible, and He guides us through the circumstances of our lives. God continually provides us with guidance and instructions, advising us on what to do and what to avoid. It is essential that we attune ourselves to His voice. Seeking God's clarity, focus, and direction on a daily basis is crucial. If we fail to listen to His voice, we risk missing opportunities to make the right choices. Remember, spending quiet time with God is an investment 
in our spiritual growth and well-being. It allows us to align ourselves with His will and purpose for our lives. The void within our hearts is where God's throne resides. He seeks to equip, train, and empower us to navigate life on earth. Living a godly life in a world rife with evil is no easy task. We need God in every aspect of our lives, not just during times of trouble. Last, God wants to fill us because we are designed by God to be overcomers. We are not merely passive beings subject to the whims of fate, but active participants in our own lives, equipped with the strength and resilience to overcome challenges. Being an overcomer does not mean that we will never face difficulties. On the contrary, it acknowledges that life can be tough, filled with trials and tribulations. However, it also asserts that we have been imbued with a divine strength that enables us to persevere through these challenges. This strength is not just physical, but also mental, emotional, and spiritual. It is a resilience that comes from knowing that we are loved by God, guided by His wisdom, and sustained by His grace. It is a courage that stems from the conviction that no matter how hard the journey, we are never alone. Let's face each day with faith and courage, knowing that we are overcomers. For every challenge we face is an opportunity to grow stronger, to deepen our faith, and to draw closer to God. Let us always remember these. We are not meant to be defeated by the troubles of this world. We are not meant to be discouraged by the lies that we have heard. We are not meant to be enslaved by the fears that hold us back. We are not meant to be ashamed by the sins that stain our past. We are meant to be an overcomer by the grace of God above. We are meant to be victorious by the power of His love. We are meant to be a witness by the way that we live. We are meant to be a blessing by the gifts that we give. We are meant to be a light by the truth that we share. We are meant to be a joy by the hope that we bear. We are meant to be an overcomer by the faith that we have in Him. We are meant to be more than conquerors by the name of Jesus Christ, our King. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we humbly come before you, seeking your divine presence to fill the emptiness within our hearts. We acknowledge our shortcomings, for there are times when we choose our own paths and forget to seek your guidance in our decisions. Lord, we beseech you to guide us in living according to your will. Help us to rely not on our own strength, but on the power you provide. We are grateful for your promise that nothing is impossible for those who place their faith in you. Strengthen our belief and empower us to accomplish the tasks you have set before us. Lord, guide me in all my endeavors. Help me to align my plans with your divine plan. Grant me the wisdom to make decisions that honor you and reflect your love to those around me. Fill us with your strength and power that we may stand firm in faith and serve as a testament to your love. May your work within us reach its fulfillment. I ask for your strength in times of difficulty. Help me to persevere and remain steadfast in my faith. Remind me that through you I can overcome any obstacle. May your will be manifested in our lives and may your light shine brightly within us. Let your goodness and mercy be evident in all that we do and may the image of Christ be reflected in our actions. Lord, in a world filled with chaos and uncertainty, I seek your peace. Calm my anxious heart and remind me of your constant presence and unchanging love. We thank you, Lord, for all your promises are true and steadfast. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are you seeking to experience the profound love and divine plan God has for your life? The path to this enlightenment is through accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you've made the decision to welcome Christ into your life at this moment, you may express your commitment through this heartfelt prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I acknowledge that I am a sinner and I am in need of your forgiveness. I believe that you sacrificed your life for my sins and triumphed over death with your resurrection. I open my heart and life to you, surrendering myself as your humble servant. Thank you for your salvation and for granting me a fresh start. Guide me in following your path and help me grow in your grace and wisdom. In your holy name I pray. Amen. Thank you for lending your ears and eyes to this video. It is my hope that it has uplifted and inspired you. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And remember to show your support by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with your loved ones. 
May God's blessings be upon you.